James Wanda's James the Wine Guy. The wine up next is this beautiful Cabernet Franc. Stay tuned. Here's what we have. We have a Virginia Cabernet Franc Monticello. Uh, tasted uh, Keswick before, actually have visited as well, and I've completed a video on their Verdejo. I'll place that video right here. It is so cool to know that there's a Virginia producer of Verdejo. If I probably uh, had not visited, I would never have experienced the wine, hence I would never have purchased the wine and tasted the wine. And uh, so here's what we have. Let me show you the label. Now this is uh, Keswick Vineyard. Monticello Cabernet Franc 2014 Vintage, Estate Reserve, 14% ABV, and the back label for your review here, and uh, spends 10 months in French oak, which I really enjoy. And what I love about this wine, and I wanna speak a little bit about typicity. Uh, typicity is a term meaning uh, typical. So it's a, it's a wine term meaning how does a variety express itself? Is it uh, typical? Uh, do you find uh, you know one boilerplate, so to speak, and maybe I'm peppering this up a bit in terms of what typicity is. I really think it's something in terms of uh, many varieties can taste very familiar, and uh, I think it's really, I like to balance the term out. It's not completely bad, it's not completely positive either. So when I think of typicity, I think of a region. I'm in, say, Puglia, and I'm tasting Primitivo. I really want to talk about Primitivo in terms of typicity in the region, I don't want to compare Primitivo with Zinfandel. Uh, there's no comparison in my opinion. So I like to think of region or terroir. Terroir is slightly overused in terms of what it really means in my opinion. I'll have another video on that. Uh, but this wine is, is I think pretty sublime and beautiful. And I think there's so many different Cabernet Francs. Um, if you were to blind taste all the Cabernet Francs, I don't believe that all of them are uh, typical. Uh, I think so many are very different, and this is a, a fantastically unique expression in terms of Virginia, in terms of not being that overly, um, what I call that weedy note, uh, almost that intense herbaceous note. And it, for me, this gives a very Virginia signature. Uh, I love that it's balanced in terms of not being over the top in terms of herbs or pepper, but a little bit of mix of everything. And I think that's the beauty of this wine. And that's the beauty of wines in general, right? You want complexity. You don't want just a linear uh, signature of a wine. So here we go first. The point score on this is 93 points out of 100 points. And uh, scent characterization begins now. On this one, I'm getting notes of uh, bramble thicket suede, autumnal notes, uh, dried herbs as well. Really nicely done. Next is the flavor characterization. And I'll repeat that point score once again. Very acid forward. In fact, it's a little hard to speak right after chasing this, um, but that's a really excellent sign, in my opinion, of a wine. It's ageability, in my opinion, and I, I also believe that that's uh, you know a good thermometer, so to speak, in terms of wow. Imagine this with uh, ribeye. Imagine this with um, pork uh, shoulder. A lot of things to enjoy with this beautiful wine. And on the flavor characteristics, I'm getting notes of tayberry, blackberry, cocoa powder, thyme, cedar, and violets. Again, 93 points out of 100 points. Fantastic wine. Virginia is a great place. I haven't been there in about five years. Uh, yeah, about five years. Uh, 2011 was the last time I was there for the Wine Bloggers Conference. Must go back, must taste. Many other producers as well. So thank you for watching today. I really appreciate your support. And when I talk about this wine racetrack, it's not to race around and taste as many wines as possible. Really the point on that is to taste wines uh, in terms of you know, I want anniversary wines. I, I don't want to go a year without tasting Virginia wines. I don't want to go a year without tasting other regions or other varieties, in fact. So that's my reminder to myself. So thank you again for watching. And let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salute and Sante.